Hi, my name is Sean with MakerBot Learning. If you're looking to create objects in flexible materials, 3D printing molds and casting into them is a really great solution. So in this video, we'll show you some of the best practices associated with 3D printing molds. To cast into a 3D printed mold, you'll need flexible silicone or resin, cups for mixing and measuring silicone or resin, mixing sticks, rubber band to secure the mold, mold release spray, gloves, a respiratory mask, and eye protection. A great application for this is the bike handle grip mold created by Thingiverse user R. Conroy. After downloading the file, in MakerBot Print we can select standard settings and send to print. Because of the size of the mold, we chose to print it on our MakerBot Replicator Plus. You'll need to spray the 3D printed mold with mold release spray in order to facilitate part removal. Once you've done that, fix the mold together using straps, tape, or rubber bands. Your silicone will come in a two-part formula which will need to be measured and mixed. Be careful not to mix too quickly, or you will stir in air bubbles. Once mixed, you can pour your resin into the mold via a funnel or an opening in the mold. The cure time of our material was 4 hours. Once your model is cured, you can pull apart the mold being careful not to damage the cured part. You may need to use a thin tool to gain leverage. Carefully remove the part from your mold. Upon removal, you may need to cut away what is called flash from areas where casting resin escaped through the seam or a void in the mold. Once your part is cured and removed from the mold, it's ready to post-process further or use right away. You just learned how to take your prints beyond the build plate. If you're looking for more applications, check us out at MakerBot.com or on our YouTube channel. And remember, if you try this at home, share it with us on Thingiverse or social media. We can't wait to see what you make.